Hi, I'm Jason from FlySky, and today I'm going to talk about the FSI10 Spectrum Analyzer function, which is a very useful function for finding out whether or not it's safe to fly in your area. And what I mean by that is we're going to have a look at the 2.4 gigahertz range and see if there's any potential sources of interference. The first thing to notice whenever I open this function is that every other function on the FSI10 will stop. So you must not use this function whenever you're actually doing something. Use this function on the ground before you decide to fly. Select yes. Now here we've got a graph. Uh, along the bottom we've got frequency. Up the top we've got dBm. And dBm is how loud a signal is. Along the bottom here we've got this bar which is moving across and that's just telling me what part of the uh, 2.4 gigahertz band is being scanned at the moment. So we can't scan the entire frequency range at the same time, but the system will sweep through. At the bottom we've got two buttons. We've got reset, which clears the graph, and period, which is how quickly the system is scanning. So if I set it to 10 seconds, every 10 seconds it will have completed a scan of 2.4 gigahertz range. And if I set it to one minute, every one minute it'll finish a scan of the 2.4 gigahertz range. Now if we take a look at this graph at the moment, we can see a few spikes. This is actually an, another system from behind me. Someone's testing one of our products. So you can see the, the product jumping between different frequencies, as our products do as in an attempt to minimize any interference. Now, I'm going to turn on a Wi-Fi signal. And we're going to see what happens to our graph. So here we go, down at the bottom. We're starting to get a very big, strong signal here. And that sort of signal is potential for interference. Although we're using a digital hopping system, you still want to avoid any sources of interference if you can. It's a, yes, if there is some, the system can deal with it. However, you don't want to be uh, using your system in an area that's very, very busy. If someone sends a file over Wi-Fi, for example, right now the Wi-Fi is not doing very much. But if I were to open a web page, you should see it start to get a little bit more red. So here we go. Now, the more red the signal is, the more chance it has of causing interference, which is a bit of a problem. So if you see, uh, say, one big blob here that's very red, if, even if you see one here that's green and one here that's green, those are potential sources of interference, and you probably want to avoid those as much as possible if you want to get the best experience flying your model. Now I'm going to turn the Wi-Fi off again, and we'll be able to see what happens. We'll just reset quickly. Oh, it's not off yet. There we go. So the Wi-Fi is now off, and you can see that we now have a, uh, a cleaner area to fly. And again, these are just another system near me hopping between frequencies. Uh, that's not going to be too much of an issue. However, if you have 20 of them together, maybe. Maybe there could be an issue, but uh, that's up for you to judge. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see more tutorials and news, please visit our website.